Hallelujah. What a blessing. Um, it's such a joy to bring you this message. Um, like I said, there's been a lot of requests uh, to continue this teaching uh, on relationship for singles and for married people. And so I started with relationship 101, relationship 102, and so this is relationship 103. Today I'm going to talk about the empowerment necessary for a single person as you are waiting for that season when you move from being single to a dating relationship, a courting relationship, or into marriage. Now there are five things I want to teach briefly uh, for single persons. Number one, I want you to learn to use this phase of your life to work on the most important relationship of your lifetime. Don't waste this time of singleness looking for somebody to marry. Use this time to build the most important relationship in your life. And I've said it over and over and over again. You know, if most of our singles knew um, some of the battles that married people have to deal with, they would take time and build on the most important relationship of their lives before they get into a dating relationship, a courting relationship, or ultimately into marriage. In the book of um, Luke chapter 6 verse 48, Jesus talks about a man who built his house and he built uh, by digging deep into a rock, laying the right foundation and building the house. And the Bible says that when the floods came and beat vehemently against that house, the house stood still. Now what happens when you take time to build first the most important relationship of your life before you consider having somebody in your life in a, a love relationship is that that most important relationship of your life helps you to weather the storms that come through life and there are many challenges there are many difficulties look there are many situations that will come up in relationships that if this first relationship is not in place it will be very difficult to deal with so i want you to get that down understand it first of all build your relationship with god it helps you in all the other relationships um even when it comes to love if somebody does not know the love of god it's difficult for the person to give love the right way because the correct amount of love the right kind of love is the god kind of love and it is god who loves perfectly and so when the person has been loved by god and they know the love of god then they can love with the love of god and so i want you to know that um in the book of um this uh, well in the book of psalm 27 verse 4 david the king said one thing have i desired of the lord that is what i will seek after that i will dwell in the house of the lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the lord and to inquire in his temple now david made his mind david made a decision that the most important relationship that he would seek would be the relationship with god work on that before you work on anything else you know the problem with our generation um, is that god when god created adam god um god created a lot of things uh, and the last thing god did was to create adam and then he added eve because he realized that after adam had been faithful in his work he needed a helper suitable for him unfortunately a lot of young people start life and the first thing they want is the last thing god created in the bible the first thing they want they want a relationship it doesn't work like that you need to slow down build the most important relationship of your life first the second thing is you need to learn to build accountability or authority relationships in your life now this is also in uh, this is also very important because as you are entering into relationships you want to look at the kind of relationships the person you are going into a relationship has in their lives and i counsel for young women for young men if you're going into a relationship and the person you are going into a relationship with you find out that they are not in an accountability or a submitted relationship of authority with anybody is a, a red flag is something you have to be careful about so this young man 
man respects nobody this young woman respects nobody it's not a sign of confidence it's not a sign that she's very assertive or he's very assertive i want you to watch it's a red flag because if he doesn't respect anybody now and you are happy about it you are going to bear the brunt of that in the future so you look at his relationship with his parents his relationship with those in authority in his life those are checks that will help you to see what uh your future will look like if as we speak now there's nobody he can listen to then please understand when you have a problem in life in marriage in relationship there's nobody who can speak to him but if there are people who can speak to him or to her and he will listen and she will listen then when anything comes up you know that there are people that you can run to people that you can talk to and they can help you to deal with situations as they come the third thing I want to share is that I want you to learn to use this time of singleness to develop your self-worth and your confidence. That is very, very important because there are people who get into relationships, even into marriage, and then they find out that their self-worth increases when they are in the relationship, and that begins to start a lot of problems. There are people who start life generally with very little confidence uh, because of their upbringing, because of their background, and then as they grow up some of them begin to do well for themselves now as at the time they were choosing or as at the time they were making relationship decisions their confidence was really low and so they chose certain people who they felt fit where they were and so now that they are on this new level it becomes really difficult for them to keep connecting with the people they chose because then now they begin to feel like this person is beneath me and I've bestowed my honor and my love on this person and so I want you to learn to use this time as a single person to build a lot of self-worth. You need to develop. You need to grow your self-worth. It's important because when you get to that point, then you know who you'd want to share yourself with. We don't want a situation where you get into a relationship with somebody right now and then years later, you end up breaking the person's heart telling him that you are not on my level or telling her you are not on my level what you need to do is to build your self-worth now so if you feel you are a lion then you start moving with lions but don't move as a cat right and go and marry a dog and then one later on you find out that you are bigger than dogs and maybe you want to play with tigers and maybe some lions and what you are what you have is that you are stuck with a dog so i want you to learn it i want you to build your self-worth during this time and it's very very important the fourth thing i want to teach is that i want you to teach that there are certain things i want you to learn that there are certain things you can do as a single person you cannot do as somebody in a relationship whether courtship whether dating or marriage there are certain things you can only do as a single person you know even as a pastor uh, i know that when we come to church and we are taking offerings some of you want to spontaneously rise the pastor is preaching and he says something you've been touched by the holy ghost you want to run for it and put a thousand cities on the altar you know once you are married some of those things are going to change because the moment you are running somebody's looking at you with some dangerous eyes and this is because that is money that is going to operate on a budget praise the lord you have plans for that money you can't just get get up and come and lay it on the altar yes you did it by faith but i'm telling you you are going to answer the questions when you go home and so when you are single there are many things you can do you can get up one day you go to work and decide not to go back home nobody's going to arrest you but when you are in a relationship whether dating courtship or marriage you can't do that you must give information on your whereabouts now listen to me the right way to be in a relationship relationship is not to do things before you tell the person you are in a relationship with you discuss it and then you take the steps okay so if you are you want your freedom i'm telling you you don't need anybody in your life you can buy a dog you can buy a cat and walk your dog in the morning walk your cat in the morning but if you want um the love of a human being then you can't have your freedom so what that means is that you are going to have to be reporting 
um, some of the decisions you make to somebody. Finally, uh, during this time of singleness, I don't want you to be carnal. I want you to be spiritual and highly positive about your future. I want you to be spiritual and highly positive about your future. I don't want you to be carnal, you know, just uh, trying to get with anybody who comes along, just trying to uh, settle for anybody who comes along. I want you to be prayerful. I want you to allow the Spirit of God to lead you. I want you to allow God to be involved in the decision. I want you to be prayerful about it. I want you to fast. Don't just be looking at people. Look at, you know, his muscles and I saw his shape. You know, don't be looking at those things now we know that even the shape you can go and it's not just for the women even for the men as well some of the guys that you see that they have like some good muscles and everything their stomach is well toned and everything now there are things that you could wear that will make you look like that so for those of you that are into that kind of fake life i want you to understand on your wedding day that's what you're going to get you take off your your gown he takes off his suit you take off your armor he takes off his armor and you are going to realize that you deceived yourself and you're stuck for the rest of your life i want you to be spiritual i want you to pray let god lead you let god direct you let god be in your hand taking you where you're going and i lead you you're not going to make a mistake be empowered be strengthened in the name of jesus amen